Hi, I'm Jing Mei Hu, and I'm going to introduce a switch, assembly synthesis using a guided exploration. Although most software is writing in high level languages, there are still a large body of critical software that must be written in assembly, such as machine dependent operating systems, embedded systems, device drivers, and some optimizations in a compiler. Not only system people, when a game designer develops a really successful game, it also depends on being able to implement some key features optimally. Even today, this requires people to write assemblies. But we all know that assembly language is fundamentally difficult and tedious to write. There are tons of new hardware emerging these days, and people will have to learn and write assembly even though they are not an expert in some particular language they are going to write. Even worse, most people are not professional language programmers, and they don't even have experience working with assembly programs. It takes time and effort for people to learn and debug. Assembly synthesis has been proposed as an alternative to many implementation. It takes a functional specification, a machine description as an input, and the synthesizer automatically finds programs that satisfy the specification. The synthesizer we used for assembly synthesis in this work is Sigis, counterexample guided inductive synthesis. Unlike program by example, Sigis takes a complete specification. And it will take a guess for a candidate program and check whether there exists some counterexamples make it violate the specification. Since we all agree that assembly program is hard to write, the thing that says techniques is promising, but the major barrier is that it's really hard to adopt it to real-world problems. In other programming contexts, interactive synthesis has been shown to improve the scalability. So how can we bring user into this procedure and make assembly synthesis more scalable? The major concern when apply interactive synthesis to assembly programming is that the synthesis itself is really complicated. It has candidate, which we know that is assembly programs. And it also has counterexamples, which are machine states. Those intermediate values increase the complexity and make it hard for users to provide guidance to help the thing as a procedure. To address those challenges, we introduce a switch, a novel interactive techniques for seizures based assembly synthesis. A switch is stands for assembly synthesis using a guide exploration. Then I'm going to show you an example which demonstrates the functionality of a switch. On the left, a switch shows the specification. On entry, the register R2 is equal to some value in the memory, and on exit, R1 is set to 0 or 1 depending on the relationship between another memory location and the content of R3. When the user starts thing assess, in real time, a switch displays the information of each candidate generated shown in the middle panel. On top of the middle panel, a switch shows a score chart. The line in the score chart is the highest score we got so far during thinnesses. On the bottom left, a switch shows the candidate ranking. By default, a switch shows the top five candidates with highest scores. Those candidates are showing ARM assembly, and the right column shows their corresponding instruction types. The user can always open the reference table to get the core screen instruction types on the left and the fine grain types on the right. On the bottom right, a switch shows the type frequency about the occurrence of each instruction aggregated for the whole program and for each instruction. For example, in this three instruction program, the general ref, logic, memop instructions have appeared and the right column shows their average scores. In this situation, the user can click on those core screen types to get the detail about fine grain types information. If a candidate looks promising, the user can also click on it to inspect the execution trace and specification analysis to understand how this candidate violates the specification. On the right is the intervention panel. The user can assist the synthesis process by adding instruction level constraints for the program, removing irrelevant machine state, and decomposing the specification into smaller problems. The user can annotate the assembly program to include or exclude instructions. A switch also automatically generates hints for your user using static analysis on the specification. In this situation, for example, the user would like to explore two ideas in parallel. For the first idea, the user selects the radio bottom for the first instruction and click Include. In the pop-up window, the user selects load to indicate that load should be the first instruction of the program. 
and the user also marked move as included for the whole program, which means move should appear somewhere in the program. This kicks off a new synthesis instance running in parallel with the original synthesis instance. For the second idea, the user selects the original Synthesis instance and apply a different intervention. The user marks load as the first instruction and click exclude to mark move as excluded, which means move should not be used anywhere in the program. This kicks off a third Synthesis instance running in parallel. Currently, a switch is running with three Synthesis instances. The Alive updated score chart now show multiple lines, each representing one of the parallel synthesis instances, labeled with the intervention that caused their creation. The user can also click on any point in the score chart and to redirect to that specific instance then check its progress. A switch highlights the selected instance with thicker lines in the score chart. The tree view also shows the relationship between these three synthesis instances. The node in the tree view and the breadcrumb is also clickable. The applied intervention table shows the intervention applied to the selected synthesis instance. In this situation, the user also noticed that some arbitrary registers appeared in the candidate but not in the specification, and they seem to be not relevant to the final code sequence. To guide a switch towards this idea, the user can remove all registers that do not appear in the specification except for some flag registers that might affect control flow. The user applied this intervention on top of the instance with load and move marked for inclusion since it looks more promising in this situation. A switch proposed a default decomposition solution for users, and for example, if the user thinks it's reasonable, the user can directly apply this decomposition as a new intervention. If any instance succeeds, the task succeeds with a correct final program. The tree view will annotate the succeeded instance with a green node, and the user can also check the result via the final result button. We evaluate a switch with a within subject lab study. We recruited 21 participants with different expertise on assembly programming. Four of them are completely expert and have programmed with assembly for years. Seven are intermediate users that has learned and code assembly many times. We use two ARM assembly tasks. One is deriving from a barfish operating system and the other is deriving from two bit manipulation benchmarks. Instead of using a traditional Sages based synthesizer, we compare a switch against the baseline condition where participants complete tasks using a synthesizer which provides feedbacks on the synthesis procedure and allows users to apply instruction level constraints only. The user study shows that a switch helps users more effectively propose interventions and more quickly arrive at a specification satisfying program. Without a switch, the average completion time is about 18 minutes, and with a switch, user finish in about 10 minutes on average. Some participants also annotate that a switch is open to experimenting and do not force them to have a perfect constraint at the beginning. We measure user subject workload with five NASA task load index questions and two helpful and usability questions. With a switch, Participant perceived less mental demanding, felt less time pressure, spent less effort, and gave them better performance rating. Although participants think a switch is more helpful and usable. Most participants prefer or strongly prefer the synthesis with a switch, and the strong preference using a switch do not vary much across participants with different expertise. We also have more interesting findings and discussions. Please refer to our paper for details. Thank you.